Indians for a paradigm shift in the affairs and, and govern, governance of our nation has been this has never been this right. The voice of the common Manainchi has now reached a crescendo and can no longer be ignored. The pandemic, the political alignments and realignments, the independence of the arms of government and institution, as well as the factor of the Kenyan church, are bathing out a new normal. The old wine skins can no longer handle the new wine. Today, I want to hear, because we are also voters and we will vote. The church in Kenya just requires its independence and is ready to add its voice to the running of the nations. I want to speak also about uh, what we saw the government do. They have allowed Matatus to carry capacity. Yet, they are still restricting churches from doing services as we used to do. We are asking between Amatatu and the churches we have, who has a big space that can do a proper social distance or who has a space that can be more safe because Matatus has no ventilation, they have no sanitizer, they have no water and soap, they have no thermal gas to, uh, to measure the temperature. They don't take register. We do all those things. So we are demanding that the government should treat the church in the same manner they have treated the Matatu industry. My colleague will continue from there. Next state election. It is clear that the elections of 2022 will be issue-based rather than the tribal camps that we have been used to. Kenyans are ready for uh, are not ready for violence and division. The politicians must read the mood on the ground and respect the decision of the people on the ballot. Therefore, we are saying it can never be. The churches should come out clear and state to the public how they would work with the churches if elected. What we are saying, all that are seeking for political positions, they need to know that the church is in Kenya. We also have an interest. So they should come out very clear and tell us how they will work with the church, how they will promote the freedom of worship. Uh, those are the things we want. na mambo ya kiharibika katika inchi. Kwa hivya tuta nyamaza na tunapenda wale wanasimama viti katika hii inchi tusikie ni agenda gani wakonayo kwa ajiri ya hii inchi na pia vile watasimamia uhuru wa kuabudu kwa sababu kama kuna jambo tunatafuta sana ni kwamba tunataka viongozi ambao wataheshimu uhuru wa kuabudu katika inchi ya Kenya vile vile tunazungumzia mambo ya uh, vaccination ya COVID-19 tunashukuru president kwa ajiri ya kusema waziwazi ya kwamba watu hawata lazimishwa kwa ajili ya kuchukua hiyo vaccination tunasema hivi akiingia kanisani mwanasiasa aingie kama muumini mwingine yeyote aabudu kama muumini mwingine yeyote na akitaka kuzungumza mambo ya siasa azungumze pale nje baada ya ibada maana kweli hatulizishi na mambo tunayoona wanaingia kanisani kama wamekuja kuabudu na baada ya ibada akipewa nafasi kusalimia wanatumia hiyo nafasi kutusi wengine hilo ndio tunasema hatutaki kuona siasa izungumzwe nje ya kanisa mikakati gani mmewe wajua tunafanya tu sehemu yetu tumezungumza na hawa hawa na siasa wanapokuja tumeambia wachungaji kabla apewe mike kusalimia wananchi maana hatuwezi wazuia ni viongozi aambiwe waziwazi asizungumze siasa asalimie tu kanisa na aweke mkutano wake kule nje akaweze kuadress watu Asante.